Whenever you are about to find fault with someone, ask yourself the following question. What fault of mine most nearly resembles the one I am about to criticize? Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, challenges us with these words to turn inwards before passing judgment outwards. This simple yet profound question lies at the heart of Stoicism, a philosophy that emphasizes virtue, reason and living in accordance with nature. Though its roots are ancient, Stoicism offers timeless wisdom that is remarkably relevant to our modern lives, particularly when navigating the complexities of interpersonal relationships. In a world often characterized by external chaos and internal turmoil, Stoic principles offer a pathway to greater self-mastery, resilience and ultimately more fulfilling connections with others. Over the course of this program, we will delve into nine key tips inspired by Marcus Aurelius's meditations, exploring how these principles can empower us to cultivate stronger, more meaningful relationships. By understanding and applying these time-tested strategies, we can transform our interactions with others, fostering an environment of empathy, understanding and mutual respect. Before we can even begin to understand and relate effectively to others, we must first embark on the arduous journey of understanding ourselves. This introspective journey begins with cultivating an acute awareness of our own emotional responses. Why do certain situations trigger anger, frustration or sadness within us? What are the underlying beliefs and past experiences that shape these reactions? By delving beneath the surface of our immediate feelings, we begin to unravel the intricate web of our own personal history, uncovering the root causes of our reactivity. This process of self-examination is not about dwelling in the past or wallowing in negativity. Instead, it's about developing a compassionate and honest understanding of the forces that drive our behaviors. Empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of another, is often hailed as the cornerstone of healthy relationships. It's the capacity to step outside the confines of our own limited perspective and truly inhabit the inner world of another human being. Imagine for a moment that you're holding a pair of spectacles. These are not ordinary spectacles. They possess the remarkable ability to allow you to see the world through another person's eyes. When you put on these spectacles, you're instantly transported into their mind, experiencing their emotions, thoughts and perceptions as if they were your own. Of course, true empathy is not as simple as putting on a magical pair of spectacles. It requires conscious effort, active listening and a willingness to set aside our own preconceived notions. It demands that we resist the urge to judge, interrupt or offer unsolicited advice. In the cauldron of human interaction, it's all too easy to fall prey to cynicism, assuming the worst of others' intentions. We've all been there misinterpreting a tone of voice, a hastily written email, or a seemingly dismissive gesture. These small misunderstandings can fester and grow, poisoning our relationships with suspicion and resentment. Marcus Aurelius offers us a powerful antidote to this toxic tendency, the practice of assuming good intent. This doesn't require us to don rose-colored glasses and ignore red flags or harmful behavior. It's about approaching interactions with a fundamental belief in the inherent goodness of others until proven otherwise. When we operate from this assumption, we're more likely to give others the benefit of the doubt, to seek clarification before jumping to conclusions, and to respond with grace rather than defensiveness. This doesn't mean we become naive or passive in the face of conflict. Imagine a seasoned general surveying the battlefield. He understands that not every skirmish requires a full-fledged assault. Some battles are best left unfought, their potential costs far outweighing any possible gains. This same strategic wisdom applies to the battlefields of our relationships. Not every disagreement, annoyance or perceived slight warrants a heated debate or a passive-aggressive jab. In fact, Constantly engaging in these minor skirmishes can leave us feeling drained, resentful and disconnected from the people we care about. The Stoics understood the importance of choosing our battles wisely. 
Imagine a beautiful garden. Without a fence to protect it, the flowers are vulnerable to being trampled, the vegetables devoured by hungry animals. Similarly, our emotional and mental well-being requires clear boundaries, limits that define what we will and will not accept from others. Setting boundaries is not about being controlling or shutting people out. It's about establishing a clear framework for healthy and respectful interactions. Just as a fence protects a garden without stifling its growth, boundaries provide structure and safety without suffocating our relationships. Start by identifying your non-negotiables, the values, beliefs and behaviours that are fundamental to your well-being. These might include honesty, respect, trustworthiness or a need for personal space. In our hyper-connected world, true presence has become a rare and precious commodity. We're constantly bombarded with distractions, our phones buzzing with notifications, our minds racing with to-do lists, our attention fragmented by the endless stream of information vying for our attention. This lack of presence has a profound impact on our relationships. When we're not fully present during conversations, we miss crucial cues. The subtle shifts in tone, the unspoken emotions simmering beneath the surface, the deeper meaning hidden between the lines. We listen not to understand but to respond, our minds already formulating our next witty remark or insightful observation. Marcus Aurelius reminds us that waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. This call to action applies equally to our listening skills. Imagine you're navigating a ship through stormy seas. The waves are crashing, the wind is howling, and the ship is being tossed about like a toy. In these treacherous conditions, a calm and steady hand on the helm is essential for survival. Similarly, when conflicts arise in our relationships, the language we use can either exacerbate the storm or steer us towards calmer waters. Just as a skilled captain chooses their words carefully during a tempest, we must learn to communicate with calmness and neutrality, even in the midst of strong emotions. When we react defensively using accusatory language or inflammatory words, we only add fuel to the fire, escalating the conflict and making it harder to find common ground. On the other hand, when we speak with neutrality, choosing our words thoughtfully and avoiding personal attacks, we create a space for productive dialogue. This doesn't mean we suppress our emotions or pretend that everything is fine. Conflicts, though often unpleasant, offer valuable opportunities for growth and self-discovery. Instead of viewing disagreements as failures or sources of resentment, we can choose to approach them as learning experiences. Chances to gain insights into ourselves, our triggers and our communication patterns. Take some time after a conflict to reflect on what transpired. What were the underlying issues at play? What role did your own thoughts, feelings and behaviours play in the situation? What could you have done differently to communicate more effectively or to de-escalate the conflict? It's helpful to approach this reflection with a spirit of self-compassion. Holding on to resentment is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. It's a self-inflicted wound that festers and grows, poisoning our thoughts, emotions and relationships. Forgiveness, on the other hand, is the antidote, the balm that soothes the sting of past hurts and allows us to move forward with lightness and grace. Forgiveness is not about condoning or excusing hurtful behaviour. It's about releasing ourselves from the grip of resentment and choosing to see the other person with compassion and understanding. This doesn't mean we forget what happened or that we allow ourselves to be mistreated again. It simply means we choose to let go of the anger, bitterness and desire for revenge that keeps us tethered to the past. Start by acknowledging the pain that you've experienced. Throughout this exploration of Stoic wisdom, we've uncovered nine powerful principles for building stronger, more fulfilling relationships. We've learned the importance of understanding our own emotions, practicing empathy, assuming good intent, choosing our battles wisely, setting healthy boundaries, being present in our interactions, using calm and neutral language, reflecting on conflicts and embracing forgiveness. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. 
Marcus Aurelius reminds us that true power resides not in controlling external circumstances, but in mastering our own thoughts, emotions and reactions. By integrating these stoic principles into our daily interactions, we can transform our relationships from sources of stress and conflict into wellsprings of joy, connection and mutual understanding.